Well, hello there, chums. Right, so I am printing my very first ship model. This is the second print I've done. The first print I've done was this little cube down here, the XYZ cube, as a test. And yeah, I'm now printing this ship model. And uh, yeah, here we go. It's going onto the build plate right now, chums. And that's looking quite good. So I will come back and do an update on this in a bit. But hopefully, I mean, it's, it's looking good. There it goes. Can't wait. There we are, there's a time limit there. Four hours, 55 minutes, I've got it on the highest quality I can possibly do. And yeah, off it goes. Okay there chums, well this is how the first ship came out. Now look at the back end of it. I went and used the wrong sort of supports, so yeah, that's a bit of a learning curve. A little bit of a mistake, but I'm really liking the uh, detail on the wings. Fantastic. And the smoothness of the actual cockpit and everything has come out brilliantly. So yeah, I'm hoping the next print that I do is going to be far better. You live and learn. Live and learn. So I'm still learning the 3D printer, but I am loving it. Okay, chums, well, I tried printing even smaller. As you can see, this has come out quite well for a small detailed ship. But I'm noticing it's not calling properly, so the smaller details are not printing too well. And the reason it's not calling properly is because this is a refurbished model, they haven't actually sent me the calling nozzle. So I'm getting a friend to print me one in ABS. So at the moment, these are just test prints. Hopefully I'll have the um, nozzle within the week. And yeah, I'm just about to print some carbonized crystal and some knowledge stones at the moment. So things that don't need so much detail. And I'll show you how those come out. Here we go, it's heading down towards the bed now. It's gonna start doing its magic. Here it goes, brilliant. Okay, so what this is doing at the moment, it's actually printing what's called a brim. And you can see there, it's got like three circly type ones and stuff. Yeah, I am printing a couple of knowledge stones, uh, a sentinel drone, and some carbon crystals. I'm hoping the carbon crystals come out semi-transparent. I might have to play with the file a bit to try and get them fully transparent. But yeah, it could be quite cool. It could be quite cool for um, adding around the ships when I build the actual models out. Okay, chums, well, I am still experimenting. There's only one minute left, so... Hopefully you're going to hear the nice little tune it makes when it finishes. But the two knowledge stones have come out really well by the looks of things and also the um, these sort of carbon crystals have as well. But the two little sentinels, they've turned out to be complete little blobs. I don't think they look very sentinel-esque at all. Yep, they're pretty broken. I'm just going to pause this for now and hopefully record once it finishes. Okay, chums, well, the fan has just turned off, so there it goes, there it goes, it's done. When it gets to the top, it will play a little tune. Here we go. I love this machine. So cool. There we are. Tune, go on, play tune. Brilliant. Right, ping, burger's done. Right, well, now I've just got to clean these things up but they are looking quite good. I'll show you a close-up of the knowledge stones and the crystals in a bit. The sentinels, well, they're, they're toast. Okay, guys, so these are my most successful pieces that I've done so far. So this ship model here yeah, is probably about eight centimeters, but I am gonna be printing ships that are about 10, so just slightly bigger than that. And then here's my carbon crystals, which have come out really really well but i might not put so much filler in them to try and make them a little bit more translucent next time and these knowledge stones have come out okay apart from the top layer you can see there that it's just off to one side it's sort of shifted halfway through the print and on these carbon crystals you can sort of see a little recess there you see it a little lip that's around there it sort of sticks out a bit so that's also jutted over to the right slightly and i think that could be because the sentinels failed on this print so I may have to rerun this again, but yeah, you can see there, look, the top there leans off to one side. I might be able to correct it with a file and make it look kind of perfect, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, they're just scenery, so they're just to make it look a little bit more No Man's Sky-esque, the actual landscape. You can see there that it's quite a bad tilt on that knowledge stone, so I may have to reprint them. But as I said, I haven't got the cooling nozzle, which I should be getting on Monday. So I'm still playing with this and still experimenting. But I think I'm getting there. I mean, that is pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Okay, well, thank you for watching. Cheers, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing and showing your support and thank you to all my Patreons. You can find my Patreons on my channel page. There's icons that link to each of their channels. Thank you all so much.